Good morning. Am I audible? Great. Good morning. So we are starting with the prayer. Tribute to a great master, Dr. Samuel Hanuman, for this wonderful divine science as a gift to all of us and taught us dare to be wise. Seeking blessings from our Guru, Dr. Prabhu Vijaykar Sirs, who made this divine science and connecting it with the modern science and made homeopathy easy like mathematics. Jai Hanuman, Jai Homeopathy, Om Vijaykaraya Nama. So friends, we are in the journey of reading Organ of Medicines and the book, The End of My Assumptions of Myasm. In Organon, up till now, we have read certain aphorisms up to 64. 
and yesterday we have read about the primary and the secondary actions of the medicines so few example what master haneman has given us to understand the two different method of treatment one is the homeopathic and one is the antipathic mode of treatment so the examples of the a which uh, yesterday we have learned about the two possibilities that one is called as the primary action the action which is imparted by the any substance on the vital force it is called the primary action and the conjoint actions of the vital force and the medicines or the substance which makes the reactive pattern and opposing it in a different manner and one is the exit opposite and one is the indifferentiate to different pattern and this are called as a secondary counter actions and secondary security actions vice versa so this is what uh, the example of the a is here so few of the antipathic mode of the treatment which is given in this example the hand is hot water <coughs> is at first much warmer than other hand that is not been so treated primary actions but when it is withdrawn from the hot water again thoroughly dry it and it becomes short and cold and at left much colder than the other this is what exactly opposite the secondary action the person is heated by the violent exercise the primary action this afterward affected with the chilliness and seasoning is the secondary actions the one who has yesterday heated by the drinking much wine primary action today every breath of air feels too cold counter of the organism the secondary action these are the examples which is of the secondary exactly opposite of that primary action <coughs> an arm that has been kept long in a very cold water is at first much paler and colder the primary action than the other but removed from the cold water and dried it subsequently become not only warmer than the other but also hot red and inflamed the secondary action the reaction from the Vital force. So excessive vivacity follow the use of the strong coffee, the primary action, but the sluggishness and drowsiness remain for a long time after a while. The reactions of the second reaction, if this be not always again removed for a short time by imbibing a fresh supply of the coffee, this is a palliative. After the profound stupefied sleep caused by the opium. the following night will be all the more sleepless the second reactions after the constipation produced by the opium the primary action is the diarrhea and chew in the second reaction and after purgation with the medicine that irritate the bowel the constipation for the several days duration and chew the second reaction so these are the things which is there so and in a like manner so there are many example it always happens after a primary action of the medicine that produce in a large doses a great change in the health of the healthy person that is its exact opposite when it has been observed there is actual such a thing is produced in the second reaction by our vital force so this is what the importance of using the large doses whenever it is applied it produces the exactly opposite action so what happen with the homeopathy <coughs> an obvious antagonistic secondary actions however is as may readily be conceived not to be noticed from the actions of the quite minor homeopathic doses of a deranging agent on the healthy body so this is what very important when the dose is very minor the exact opposite action is not there the small doses of every one of them certainly produce a primary action that is perceptible to the sufficiently attentive observer but the living organism employed against it only so much reaction that is second reactions the second security as is necessary for the restoration of the normal condition so this is what just the stimulations with the small dose which help us and the vital force overcome with this curative actions <clears throat> so this is what master hanemann is telling us that is why the concept of the drug dynamization has been imparted in the science of homeopathy because the larger dose is produce the much bad effect and that is what the antagonistic effect and it will either a suppress or aggravate the disease in a way that is why the drug dynamization comes into the homeopathy this incontrovertible truth which continuously offer themselves to our notice in the nature and experience explain to us 
the beneficial action that takes place under the homeopathic treatment, whilst on the other hand, means the allopathy, they demonstrate the perversity of the antipathic and palliative treatment of the disease with antagonistically acting medicines. So here in the footnote 67, what Hanuman has tell about whenever you encounter with such a case, what you have to do. So this is what the things. So only in the most urgent cases, one of the most urgent cases, the emergency cases, where the danger to life, the action, life and death is there, the imminent death allows no time for the actions of the homeopathic remedy. Not hours, even sometimes not the quarter hours, and scarcely a minute in a sudden accident occurring to the previously healthy individual, for example, in asphyxia and suspended animation from the lightning, from suffocation, freezing, drowning, etc., in this condition, what we have to do, is it admissible and judicious at all event as the preliminary measure to save the whole, to stimulate and the irritability and sensibility in the physical life with a palliative as for instance, with a gently electrical shock, with a cluster of strong coffee, with a stimulating order or gradual application of the heat, etc., etc., etc. But what happens? When this stimulation is affected, the play of the vital organ again goes on in its former healthy manner. For there is here no disease to be removed, but merely an obstruction and the suppression of the healthy vital force has to be there. To this category belong the various antidotes to sudden poisoning, alkalis for the mineral acids, hepar sulfuries for the metallic poisons, coffee and camphor and epicans for the poisoning by the opium, etc. to be employed. It does not follow that the homeopathic medicine has been ill-selected for a case of the disease because some of the medicinal symptoms are only antipathetic to some of the less important and the minor symptoms of the disease. <coughs> The stronger, if only the other, well-marked characteristic and the peculiar symptoms of the disease are covered and matched by the same medicine with the similarity of the symptom, that is to say, overpowered, destroyed and extinguished the, the few opposite symptoms and also disappear of themselves after the expiry of the term of action of the medicament without retarding the cure in the List. So this is what very important aspect of understanding that in that cases you have to antidote with the certain medication and which is based on which we called as the PQRS symptoms and which is also covering the symptom similarity that is why they create it. And yet the new sect that mixes the two system appeal though in a vein to this observation in order that they may have an excuse for the encountering everywhere such exceptions to the general rule in the disease and to justify their convenient employment of the allopathic palliatives and of other injurious allopathic tracts besides solely for the sake of sparing themselves the trouble of seeking for the suitable homeopathic remedy for each case of the disease and thus conveniently appear as a homeopathic physician without being such. But their performance are on a par with the system they pursue, they are corrupting. So this is what, what Master Hanuman is advising that, this is what I advise that sometime when you have urgent cases at that time you employ the allopathic or antipathic mode of treatment but not for the sake of if you are not getting the right remedy or if you are not using your intellectual pain to seek the homeopathic remedy and at that time you cannot apply the allopathic mode of treatment. This is what the corrupting mind of the homeopath and that is what Master Hanuman is telling that it is the act of mongrel sect. So this is also Hanuman says that in general rule you can use as an exception you can use when you, there is an imminent death is occurring or when the urgent cases of a death is there. At that time, you can employ, but not in every time when you didn't get any remedy. So, this is what you have to keep in a mind. So, <clears throat> the wisdom of master is telling us that you have to use your wiseness and then and then you apply the homeopathy with this divine process. 
again we are reading the book the end of my assumptions of the myism by dr prakul vijaykar sir so up till now we have read many chapter from this book and we have understood that the our body or our mind is governed by the genetic code and that genetic code has a specific defense system and that defense system is working in a three process and that three process is called as a physiological process in terms of the sora the morphological process which is constructive in terms of psychosis and the morphological process which is destructive in terms of syphilis so up till now we have read this in this process and we have also enter into the physical aspect of the body then we understood the disease aspect of the body the all the inflammatory uh, signs or its are there in the physiological plane then we enter into the psychosis the any problem at the level of a cellular reproduction which giving rise to the excess reproductions or the less reproductions and the producing disease in terms of the poor quality like uh, accumulations uh, repositions uh, synthesis and the proliferation they are the psychosis either in the excess form or in the less form and then we have understood the physical aspect of the disease in terms of the necrosis and the apoptosis or apolysis at the physical level which gives rise to destruction of the body so that is a syphilis also we have read about the mental aspect of the sora psychosis and the syphilis in this uh, series and then we have enter into the understanding of our materia medica that how we have to understand the medicine in terms of a tri myism because each and every medicine which is a polytrist nature having this three categories of the presentations in the soric presentation they are different in psychotic presentation they are different and in the syphilitic presentation they are different and now we are reading the some of the rubric and we have to understand that how our rubric to be <coughs> utilized when we are utilizing our concept of myism and that is what picking up the rubric for similimum with the help of myism so this is what we have to understand why we have, we are reading this so the approach of myism which help us to understand that whenever you are uh, treating a certain patient and that if you know that, that the person is defending in the three different way uh, point for example uh, if you have uh, a defender defender have a three uh, tool one is called as a stick one is called as a sword and another one is called as a gun so for example the uh, you have a stick and the opposite person having a sword so this is what the you are using a wrong tool to defend so that is why you have to understand that whenever the opposite person having that means a diseased person having which uh, defense mechanism is running on so for example a stick is a sora a sword is a psychosis and gun is a syphilis so this is what whenever you have to encounter the psychotic disease and you are prescribing on the basis of just a sora so you can can not get a proper result so this is what the reason why you have to pick up the rubric for the particular simile mum with the help of myism so we are starting with the reading so we know that the whole organism exists on the defense without defense no organism will survive survival of the self is done by the nutrition oxygenation survival of the species is done by the functions of reproduction and the survival against any foreign hostile forces is by the functions of immunity as a defense there are certain constitutions who defended by the first functions the inhibitions of the nutrition that causes the inflammations is what we attribute to the sora the constitutions which have a genetic tendency to defend in a such a way are the soric constitution same thing hold good for the psychotic constitution and the syphilitic constitution which shows the tendency to defend by the constitutive defense and the destructive defense respectively this means that the first type of the soric constitutions are expert in using the physiological defense the psychotic the psychotics are expert in using a constructive defense and the syphilitic are expert in using a destructive defense so let us consider a man let us consider a man on the street who is attacked by the group of four five bad elements 
This man, you know, is expert in using gun like a westerner, and today he is not possessing it. If we want to keep this man, what should we give him? A stick or a knife? No, not at all. What he requires to be given is the weapon which he is expert with and which he can use the battle. Give him a gun and he will defend himself. Similarly, if the another man in the same place is expert in using a sword, there is no sense in giving him a gun and he cannot use. Provide him with a sword and he will defend himself. Same way in homeopathy, we do not cure the disease. Our remedy do not cure the disease either. We only stimulate the patient to cure himself. So this is very important aspect of understanding. But Kant also said about this. We do not cure. This is what we just have to <coughs> stimulate <coughs> the patient. And the patient himself is curing. It is his immune system which he has to cure itself. Our medicines provide only the stimulus. Only the right stimulus will help us to stimulate. And what is that right stimulus and how to find it. So we should first understand and know how this constitution is defending itself. Now for the time being, we have to imagine the long fighter, lone fighter, we were just talking about. We have to know what defensive tactic he excel in. If it is a physiological defense, he should be given an only a physiological defense oriented remedy that is a soric remedy. If he is known to excel in the destructive defense, we have to provide him a destructive defense remedy that is syphilitic remedy. And similarly in psychosis, psychotic remedy can stimulate him to cure. If it is a psychosyphilitic defense, we have to give a psychosyphilitic remedy. This is called as similia similibus curantum. So in the first case of a coma mentioned in the first chapter, the patient was tending to fight with the accumulative and the destructive defense that is the psychosyphilitic. The cerebral encephalopathy was leading to the coma, that is psychosis, and the destructions of the senses and the consciousness, that is syphilitic. So what sir has made a mistake of giving him a cake instead of gun. A soric remedy was given to the psychosyphilitic defending transition, hence the said result. So this is what at the first chapter, there are the three cases of the coma as given and what the mistake we have done because we are not using the yardstick of the myasm. So hence the said result. So how then to select the right similimum according to the defense? It is very simple. The patient defends on a mental plane, physical plane and the general plane etc. That is the mental makeup, the physical makeup and the general makeup. The disease makeup. The fourth one is the disease makeup. All arising from the genetic code which should speak the same language of the defense or the myism. If the disease is syphilitic, we cannot take a suric mental for deciding the similar So this is what keep in mind. If the disease is syphilitic and we cannot take a suric mental for deciding the similar So you have to keep this chart. In each and every case, you have to analyze this way. The mental makeup in the Sora, you have to put certain symptoms. In psychosis, you have to put certain symptoms. In the syphilis, you have to put certain symptoms. In general makeup, also the Sora, psychosis, and syphilis. Physical makeup, you have also Sora, psychosis, and the disease makeup also. So you have to keep this chart for each and every case for the analysis. And that will help you to understand the patient as well as your approach. So that you can reverse from syphilis to psychosis and from psychosis to Sora. So here are the few rubric which would be useful. So this is what Sir has given a handy tool to understand that these are the few rubric which is from the Sora. These are the few rubric which is from the Psychos and these are the few rubric which is from the Syphilis. Help you to understand that you have to keep the categorize in the patient when the patient comes to you. So these are the few examples. So I am not going into detail of the each and every rubrics but I am just explaining few things that will help you to understand certain rubrics that is purely a soric one that is purely a psychotic one and that is purely a syphilitic one.
so as we all know the anxiety the anxiety of the many variant are purely a soric but if this anxiety goes into exaggerations so it can change its gear from sora to syphilis it may produce anguish so this is what you have to keep in mind that anxiety is in a proportion that is a sora but anxiety goes higher that is a syphilitic variant also so be patient because each and every rubric is the patient's presentation when the patient's presentation is in an exaggerated out of control way then also you have to categorize in a different category from sora to syphilis also so this is what anxiety is a sora the affectionate the care love this is a sora so the ardent means the eagerness to learn and the zeal the activity desire for is a sora apprehension is a sora bashfulness because of some inhibitory actions on that persons that is a sora shyness is a sora benevolence the good deeder persons are the sora now you have to keep the benevolence is of a three variant benevolence can be a soric benevolence can be a psychotic or benevolence can be a syphilitic also so those who are by genuine by heart and giving help and do good for the others are the soric one those who want to do good for the others but in return they want his name fame and <laughs> everything so this those who are uh, giving a charity to people and in return they want the name on the board so that is this also are been over but that is a psychotic one and the third one which is syphilitic that is what in spite of not having something for him and due to his over sympathetic nature he providing uh, or doing good for the others and not taking care of the self that is indifferent to self and helping others that is a syphilitic benevolent so you have to keep in a mind that it can be a three variant also so by the history of the patient you can understand that how the benevolence could be in this patient so that is what you have to keep in mind capriciousness the capriciousness is the desire desire is the will so this is a, there is a desire i need something and again the, my my physiology is changing this is a physiological so sometimes the need is changing the capriciousness is always changeable the soric one the carefulness the taking care of everyone cares and what is full of the cares and what is full of is the human emotions for their children and for their families and everything but if it is exaggerated it may goes into a syphilitic also so there is one rubric that cares and worries for others and least concern about the self it is autoimmune rubric for the cocula is the remedy cheerfulness the vivacity is a soric the cautiousness because of the carefulness again the cautiousness is based on the fear or insecurity it may land into a psychotic personality but cautions to be uh, cautions to be in a balance cautions to be in working that is a sora carry desire to be again it is a sora the complaining is a sora in complaining and uh, complaining goes on <clears throat> moaning complaining goes on lament so that lamenting is a syphilitic in nature the moaning is less in nature so this is psychotic in nature and complaining is a sora so this is what you have to evolve from the sora to psychosis to syphilis again the confusion here the confusion is given is the physiological confusions for a time being it is not something that lack of clarity in everything so the confusion mostly a psychosyphilitic in nature but here the confusion for a time being a physiological because of a, a, a loss of a, a vital fluid because of a loss of the glucose depletions and that is what the physiological nature that's why it was given in sora okay but this confusion if it is arising from some uh, neurological disorders or some of the biochemical changes which is uh, destructive in nature then this confusion goes into psychosyphilitic trait or if this confusion lead to the change in the perception because of some temporal lobe affection that also a psychosyphilitic in nature did desire to perform good is by heart they are good in nature that is a sora discomfort is complaining sora excitement is a sora expressions is a sora extroverted can be soric one or also a psychotic one okay the honesty is a sora hari is a sora but hari you have to there is one rubric awkwardness hari from it is a 
syphilitic in nature. So hurry is by nature. The genetics is fast. But when this genetic fast genetic cannot balance it and goes into awkwardness, that is a syphilitic in nature. Industrious desire to work, inquisitive desire to know, irritability, intellectual, mildness, these are the soric in nature. Pertinacity means I have to keep myself to a particular point of view. So this is what pertinacity the religious religious can be a sorry can be a psychotic and can be a syphilitic there is a sadness because of the sensitivity hurt the sensitive sentimental sober and the sociability these are the sorry in one sympathetic means there is a care for others and thoughts are the sorry and the timidity timidity because of inhibition so these are the few example of the soric rubric so whenever you encounter from the patient's mental aspect you have to categorize in the chat box of the sora there are some psychotic rubric the psychotic rubric means the absorb the abusive the admiration desire for so in psychosis sir always says anything which is excess in desire or which we call as a greed, the desire is always comes into a psychosis. Because the need is sora, when need is converted into greed, the excess desire, desire more than the needs is psychosis. So admiration, desire, in sora we see the affectionate, but in psychosis we show affectation, so showing. So psychosis is show, psychosis is facade, psychosis is what we are covering, psychosis will be called as a projection. So this is what something you feel that these are the projections, these are the facade, these are the covering, these are the hiding something. This all are comes into a psychosis. Psychosis is a big thing. So here our uh, what we called as the industries of uh, uh, film industries all are the psychosis. Actually they are different and they are looking different. So makeup is psychosis. Okay. Amativeness, amorous at the level of uh, love, there is an increased desire to have uh, sexual interactions and that is what the amorous and amativeness, that is a psychosis. But when the sexual view comes in, it is all psychosis. The audacity can be psychosis and audacity can be syphilitic also. So inside there is a fear, but they want to project something that is audacity, that is psychosis. But when this audacity is not understanding that what are the consequences that is happening and I might land up with the injury or I might get a dangerous in a dangerous condition, that is called as a syphilitic audacity. So keep in mind there are a few rubrics which are coming to the sora that also come into psychotic, that also come into syphilitic. Same way, some rubrics are in psychosis or in the syphilis. The anger, anger is expressed in the soric level as irritability, in psychotic level as anger, excessive anger, less. So in anger, excessive the expressions and anger less, it is called as a suppressed. So this is what we have a psychosis. And the syphilitic, it is out of control, goes into rage, violence and the destructions. So this is what you have to keep in a mind. Absent-mindedness, the antic plays. To attract the attention of the other, awareize, desire for more than that, awkwardness, awkwardness is what stumbling and fumbling because of imbalance, the boaster, the showiness, the borrow from everyone, that is what they need more, the buoyancy, buoyancy means more are psycho, syphilitic in nature, they can adjust to the any of the plane, so this is psycho, syphilitic in nature, adaptation, business aptitude for Psychosis, the childish behavior is a less of psychosis, psychosis less, cowardice is also psychosis less, conceal himself is also psychosis less. Here, the contented can be a sorry, can be psychotic and can be a syphilitic also. So, in psychosis, they don't want to show that I have affected, so they show that I am contented. So, that is what contented, but that is psychotic. In syphilis, when they have everything, so I, sir has given a case of a burns case. The patient was a 65% burns. He was working in a sewer gas and there was no light. So he went into sewer gas plant with the candle and he was burned badly and he was admitted in the hospital 65% burns. All the doctors were uh, hope and some of the doctors from that area called sir that uh, sir, how can we help this patient? So sir says, I need to talk with so patient is talking with the sir and patient is politely telling that sir, everything is okay, I am fine. 
and I know I will be recover soon. A sixty-five percent one person is talking like that. That is what the con contentment at the level of socialist. So that is what due to that, sir has found that either he is indifferent, either having a painlessness, or either he is a much of the contented. So in that contentedness, it is a syphilitic in nature, and sir prescribed. He is a man of the science, so sir prescribed that is contented with himself on the basis of that sir prescribed. Magnesium salt, and we recover beautifully within a few months. So this is what you have to understand. The contented can be a snoring, can be psychotic, can be a syphilitic. The coquettishness to attract the attentions of the others by doing such actions or uh, sexually attracting the others by their moves. So this is what coquettish, corrupt, venal. Counting money, charitable with the expenses of the recompenses. Is, that means I need to give a charity, but in return I need the name and fame on the plate. So that is what charitable with the expectation of recompenses. Is. Deed feels as if he could do great. So he feels I am a great because of delusion of grandeur started from the psychosis. The delicacy, brittleness, because of there is the internal uh, fear and weakness and uh, fragileness at the cellular level. They become discontented to get everything from the socials or societies. The dullness and sluggishness is psychosis less. Desire or longing for his psychosis excess. Desire more than she needs. This dress best at his. The pronoun is one of the remedy. Duplicity, that means the double face. Eloquence, the verbally they are good in talking. So that is what the quality is. Eloquence, embarrassment, that is what the shyness is in a sora. Bashfulness is in sora. But this goes into psychosis, the excess embarrassment. So hiding inside, <laughs> that is embarrassment. Escape desire to too much exclusive, extravagance, egotism, facade, fear, faking, faking or feigning. That is psychosis. Flattery desire for poppies, elegant dandy. This is our psychosis. Flatterer, finance aptitude for, so they want finery, luxury, clothing, money and everything. Past few years can be a psychosis. Initiative, lack of inconsolable. Inconsolable can be a syphilitic one also. Gamble, so to, to gamble to get the more money, the gluttony, that is more desire, the grandeur desire, groaning and moaning, the psychosis, high desire to, again, hatred is a psychosis also and syphilitic also. So this is what you have to keep in mind that some of the rubric that are in psychosis also, they are also in the syphilitic also. Hypocrisy. So something which I am showing is different and actually what I am is different. That is called a hypocrisy. Haughtiness, the homesickness, the ideas fixed, imitations, important feels is pompous. These are the psychosis. Indiscretion. Indiscretion is a lack of circumstances here. The leg is psychosis less, but here the indiscretion can go into syphilitic state also. So, sir has beautifully explained the meaning of indiscretion in the book Genetic Materia Medica, the Baraita group. So, all Baraita group is based on this rubric. So, you can go through that book and you can understand how the indiscretion is presented by sir in a beautiful manner. So, this is what psychosyphilitic in nature. Justing, liar, libertinism. Loquacity, magnetized desire to be meddlesome. So meddlesome means, means the person who is in, interfering in between two. That is called meddlesome. The medicine desire to swallow large doses because of insecurity. These are the psychosis, the miser, moaning, mirth, mischievous. Mischievous can be sorry, psychosis and syphilitic as we have uh, earlier read in this book also. A muttering... Uh, Plan making many, rivalry, fisting, secretive, suspicious, mistrustful, ungrateful, slowness, squanders, spenders money to show off everything, selfishness, sadness, sadness goes into a state of long standing grief is psychosis, talk vivacious, timidity, usurer. Usurer is the rubric used for the persons who is giving the money to everyone and in return they want an interest from that. That is called as the money lenders. These are the usurers. They are psychosis. So vanity, the show of theorizing versus make. So these are the example of the psychosis. So you will get a lot of psychosis in your patient. So you have to categorize into this.
then the syphilitic rubric very important aspect of understanding is syphilitic rubric so whenever the patient to do with the psychosis you have to go to the syphilitic aspect and understand it in a better way so whenever you apply this to syphilitic aspect to the psychotic patient you will get the result this is what sir is telling us that how to categorize the miasm and then you have to apply the yardstick which yardstick to be used for Abstractions of the mind, anguish, so anxiety goes into exaggerated form is anguish, anorexia nervosa, it is something that I don't want to eat because of some anxious process and that lead to the leanness, thinness and everything that is distracting the self. Answer to the imaginary questions, though the processing unit is not working in a proper way, there is a distraction from the control, answers incoherently, answers irrelevantly, that is in the control of the processing unit is disturbed. So that is a syphilitic. The ask for nothing, aversion to everything. So again, aversion is the syphilitic rubric. Desire is the psychosis rubric. Aversion to herself, aversion to family member, aversion to everything, aversion to oneself is, is the syphilitic in nature. Business aversion to Catalepsy, casting of people against their will, cruelty, brutality, inhumanity, cursing, blasphemy, profanity, death desire, death thought of, death predict the time of the death, despair, destructiveness, detached from the person. In Sora, they are attached. In psychosis, there is a more attachment. But in syphilis, they become detached. So this is what the destruction is. Development, mental arrested, development, physical arrested. So this is a psycho syphilitic in nature eccentricity tedium, a strange a strange from the things euphoria goes into exaggerations exhilaration fanaticism the fences exaltations of far away as this with the apathy and indifference to the future is the rubric for the syphilinum apathy indifferent to the future apathy to everything indifferent to pleasure these are the syphilitic in nature Fire wants to set things or house on. This is destruction, syphilis, poor sex, his over children, poor sex, the relationship that is a uh, sickle core, syphilitic in nature, godless feeling. So, in religiousness, the Sora religious is based on genetic impartation. Psychotic religion went because of some fear that God will save me. And after that, they go into godlessness because they become nasty. So, this is what godless feeling want of the religious feeling. In sexuality also, there is a homosexuality that is a destruction of this love and that is what perversion. So this is what you have to understand that the homosexuality is a syphilitic hysteria that is out of control, reaction to the stimulus, imbecility, indifferent, insanity, kill desire to, kill desire to be, lamenting, bemoaning, wailing is a syphilitic, laughing out of control, laughing involuntary, laughing immoderately, hysterical. These are the syphilitic presentations of the behavior. So lewdness and obscenes, lewdness can be psychosis also and goes into destruction that is a syphilitic. Malicious, vindictiveness, syphilitic, mania, madness, out of control, syphilis, ever going to marriage, this is syphilis, masochism, uh, uh, getting pain and from pleasure from the pain that is a masochism or sadism. So person giving pain is a sadistic and person is receiving pain is a masochism, masochistic. So this is what you have to understand. This is the perverted love. So misanthropy, aversion to the mankind and society, moral affection, antisocial, criminal dispositions, moral affection, perversion and want of moral feeling. All are the syphilitic in nature. Naked want to be nymphomania, out of control, the rage fury is out of control, anger, the repulsive mood, retarded children, schizophrenia, sensitiveness, want of. In Sora, there is a hypersensitivity and sensitivity. In psychosis, sensitivity converted into the fear or insecurities and in syphilis, destructiveness of the sensitivity, is the want of sensitivity. Shamelessness, the slender dispositions, Desire to defame others, this is syphilitic in nature. Trends, kink, acts, and opinion, the suicidal disposition, so destructive mode is going on, this is syphilitic in nature. Unfeeling, hard hearted, there is no feeling for anyone. So, if it is a sora, they are sensitive. 
So there is a feeling. In psychosis, they either show excess feeling or in psychosis, they show less feeling. And in syphilis, it, no feeling at all. So they become hard-hearted. That is what unfeeling, hard-hearted. Violence, vehemence in the behavior and always washing hair. That is because of OCD, out of control. So these all are the syphilitic in nature. Now we have to understand this with the uh, case analysis. So, using myism in analysis and prescribing to the illustrative case. Hope you all understand this uh, category of the rubric in a brief. I must advise all of the learner to go to uh, home, to home, uh, write all the rubric of the Sora from this book, write the meaning of it and find out some situations that you can encounter in your clinical practice or you can think that this could be the possibility of this situations and at this, in this situation I have to take this rubric. So this is what the homework for all of you so you can understand rubric in a better sense and then and then you can understand the homeopathy in an easy way. So there must be some diligent work is needed behind this. Hope you all get the idea of understanding this uh, myasm category with the rubric now we are reading this illustrative case that gives a good idea about this. <coughs> a S the fire smell came with the complaint of the weakness in the leg, the calf muscles while walking, pain in the legs in six to eight months, weakness in the legs in three to four months. Started one year back, wants the mother to lift him up while walking, diagnosed as a threatened DMD, equine muscular dystrophy. Uh, his CPK was raised to 2016 unit while the normal level ranges between the 24 to 95. The another complaint is constipation. Has to strain a lot and remove mechanically stool once in a 2 to 3. Other complaints, the recurrent cold and coughs in 3 years, running nose, irritation, cough, aggravated from change of weather, from strong odor, vomiting while coughing since 2 years, take an allopathic treatment from that. Appetite, generally appetite was poor, like hot food, first normal, perspiration profuse, around head, dripping, even in AC. Thermally very hot, craving for chocolate and ice cream, aversion to sour. Mentally, the child is very sensitive, child get hurts very fast, sensitive to reprimand. So, whenever you have to find out, you have to write that this is Sora, this is psychosis, this is Sora, this is psychosis. So that is the lesson you have to do each and every case. So you can understand that how the person is in a soric stage, in a psychotic stage, in a syphilitic stage. So sensitive child, uh, sensitive to reprimands, get easily hurt fast. This is Sora. If there is only one piece of bread and the mother give it to him and not to elder sister, he feels bad and give his one piece to his sister. This is what sympathetic, the Sora. His sensitivity is marked especially regarding the food. If mother give a piece of bread to him and his sister and the sister throw it away, he feels very bad and he scold her or even beat her. This is sensitive. What will the mother feel? This is what angry child, the Sora. If he has two pieces of bread and nothing is given to his pet dog, he will give his share to the dog, love for animals, Sora plus psychosis. Sensitive to noise and crackers, but loves music. Sensitive to noise, music, emulates Sora. Fear of the giant wheels, not because of the motion, but gets frightened when it reaches the top. Very much frightened when it is climbing. So fear of height is psychosis. Very short-tempered when angry, he beats and bites his sister. So biting cruelty is syphilitic. Shouts bar, uh, back at his father, grandfather and grandmother. Does not like his father. Says he is like a splinter. So rudeness in the children. It is syphilitic. Uh, right from the birth, he is obstinate child. So obstinate is a psychosis. Outside the house, very shy and timid. So timid is Sora plus psychosis. Very careful while crossing the road. So cautious, the Sora plus psychosis. Very intelligent child, interested in study and knowledge, intellectual, psychosis, much, very particular, very particular about his studies. So intellectual is psychosis and the diligence is Sora.
in a school uh, known as the good obedient conscientious child the conscientious about the triple the sura the psychosis though religious does not like to pray to the god or do any ritual the religious is again a psychosis dressing habits always well dressed full shirt full pants he tries to behave like a mature man this is again a psychosis at the age of 5 years he behave like a mature man that is psychosis his clothes are always kept in a place his book also kept in a place and are very tidy doesn't like anybody touching it does not misplacing things very much possessive about his things and nobody should touch his things this is the, this is called as a fastidious psychosis destructiveness of the toys so this is of destructive syphilis can't see cruelty and the blood very much sensitive about the animal can't see animal in pain or even human being in the pain so sympathetic to the cruelty to the animal this is psychosis hobbies he is very artistic and has won many prizes in drawing and painting a very creative artistic aptitude is psychosis creative imagination is psychosis now playing on the computer crazy about the car psychosis anything which is gives you vanity anything which is gives you a good thing is psychosis speed is very fast very much restless more attached to the mother and the mother is see asthma during pregnancy take an allopathic treatment so you have read about this we have read about this case so out of this what are the soric symptom what are the psychotic symptoms and what are the syphilitic symptoms we have to come into the case so how to analyze the case so we have to analyze the journey of the disease so he had a recurrent cold and coryza since 3 years the layer is affected is endoderm and there is a sora running nose irritations and the cough the endoderm again sora vomiting while coughing endoderm sora pain in the leg mesoderm muscles tissue the sora swelling of the calf muscles mesoderm sora and weakness of the legs mesoderm sora psychotic now we have to understand the dmd because it was diagnosed as a dmd so dmd or adequate muscular dystrophy is a genetic disorder it is characterized by the cramps in the calf muscles increase in the size of the muscle progressive weakness in the first the calf muscle and then ascending to the upper muscles until his gait changes to waddling gait chest and abdomen gets protruded it become impossible to rise from the squatting positions life finally end with the paralysis of the respiratory muscles this disease pathology start with the deactivation of the gene which produce dystrophin so dystrophin is a protein which pro- protect the muscles from the injury interestingly this insufficiency of production start in the calf muscles and gradually proceed up opposite to the herring's law of direction it begins between the age from 4 to 7 years universally there is no treatment for it once it has set in three stages are seen first the muscles get inflamed this is sora due to any infection that may injure the muscles in absence of dystrophin here it was because of the respiratory tract infections being transferred from endoderm to mesoderm muscles connective tissue layer secondly there is a false increase in the cell mass it is called psychosis and the thirdly the muscle cells get gradually destroyed it is called syphilis if at all the child of the dmd has a hope in his is a homeopathy and that too if anything can be done at the stage of one of the inflammations or sora first of all if these are the genetically pre diagnosed dmd when it runs through the family homeopathy can prevent the disease the immune impairment from reaching the third or mesoderm connective tissue layer so see the chart of suppression for this understanding the deactivation of the genes of the dystrophin can only occur if the immune impairment reaches the muscle that is if a child is suppressed with the allopathy or omega now if the right genetic constitution of similimum is prescribed that means a remedy which will take into consideration the genetic trait of the individual is prescribed there is a remote possibility of saving this child the gcs include the mental makeup general makeup physical makeup and disease makeup all of which are his defense makeup or the miasmatic makeup so this is what you have to keep in a mind now what is the mental makeup the mental makeup is made up of the inner genetic characteristics and should be re- represent in the form of real intellect moral diligence defense sensitivity and expressiveness 
disease makeup in the form of a disease, the physical makeup in the form of the structure, height, weight, shape of the face, texture of the hair and skin. And the general makeup is made up of uh, tolerance to the sun, mind, moon, rain, tolerance to the heat and cold, thirst, sensitive to noise, light, touch and smell. So in above case, child, the first disease stage was taken into consideration. This was the beginning of the DMD, which is predominantly psychosyphilitic as the name pseudo-hypertrophic muscular dystrophy. So this is what you have to understand. By our understanding of the miasm, now we understand this, that this constitution is defending itself or genetically being programmed to defend itself by bringing about at first inflammation sora, then construction hypertrophy, and then the destruction at the pathological level. So mind and body talk the same language because both are governed by the same genetic code. This means the mind must also have develop some characteristic which will defend itself as a soropsychosyphilitically. But at this stage, the disease was not fully established and yet defending sorically as there was only pain and cramps. Thus, I have to consider the mental of the child with the soric trait and the psychotic view predominantly. This mental rubric can be used as an elementary rubric because the similimum will have to cover them. Then and only then it becomes a genetic constitutional Similar. This is of course will and should include the thermal thirst, desire and aversion etc. In the above case, what we have seen, the will is timid, so very timid in child, the intellect, the creative and artistic, the psychosis, the moral is conscientious, the sora, uh, the sympathetic, the sora, the defense is fastidious, psychosis, sensitivity is sensitive to rudeness and the sora. General makeup, what? Craving for the chocolate, ice cream, perspiration, profuse, the uh, physical makeup is lean and thin. So what sir has taken the rubric is timidity, artistic aptitude, conscientious about trifles, sympathetic and fastidious and sensitive to rudeness. The only remedy which comes up on repertization is carcinogen. Now confirmatory, the craving for uh, ice cream and chocolates are there in the carcinogen. Sensitive to noise, music emulates are carcinogen. Fear of the high places is carcinogen. Love for animal also there in the carcinogen. There is a, a few syphilitic rubric which is we have seen in cruelty and inhumanity is syphilis also covering by the carcinogen. Destructiveness also covering by the carcinogen. If this case was progressed to the psychosis and further into syphilis, then mind would have also changed toward the psychosis and syphilitic mental. So in that case, the carcinogen 200 single dose was prescribed. So within two months, his appetite improved, the pain in the leg is decreased, weakness has been decreased. In the four months of the spine, he suffered from the chicken pox, throat pain, back to the sora. The virus has been comes out. There is a vomiting in the six months of the spine once in a while. Cough and fever, these are the soric symptoms. And at the end of the nine months, the CPK was done and the CPK was absolutely normal, 110. The child is normal up to date and goes for the mountain climbing. So this is what the understanding of our myasm, understanding of the mental, understanding of the rubric and in the, from the case we have to take into consideration of this. So this is what our understanding of process. So hope we will conclude our day to day here. So uh, go home. Uh, read again this chapter, uh, write every rubric uh, at home, write the meaning of that rubric and then you have to apply your logic or mind to understand where, in which situation I have to take this rubric into the vision. So that will help you in your practice. So thank you so much for the sessions and thank you all. Hope you all enjoy uh, reading. Today uh, we have a session with Dr. Anand uh, in the afternoon uh, about 2 o'clock approach to the Arctic area. Dr. Anand has uh, taken a wonderful session in our happy team and we are making it live to all of you on the Zoom. So yesterday I have shared the Zoom link uh, for this sessions.
and you all are requested to attend that so you will get the idea how to create uh, a tick area with an easy way indifferent to suffering and painlessness of the painful complaint which one is more suffering both are suffering in nature indifferent to suffering is the mental pictures and painlessness of painful complaint is the physical pictures so you have to keep in mind that both are suffering in nature so for example i will give you the example of dr nishan a child came to dr nishan's clinic my, one of my friend he was also in this meeting uh, the child a small child almost uh, two or three years old child came to the clinic he had a fear and he got frightened so he called that uh, we need to investigate the child and so he called the uh, phlebotomist to take a blood from this child and while taking the blood that child was not a single scream a two three years old child not scream a single scream by while taking the blood from the veins so this is what he took as the painlessness of the painful complaint and on the basis of that he prescribed the opium to the patient and that gives a wonderful result in that case so this is what something you have to understand that the painlessness of painful complaint is a physical one and indifference to suffering is the mental one so you have to differentiate from the patients yeah i will share the link in the group again so you can join at the 2 o'clock uh, in the afternoon so we will have a wonderful session on the arctic area and uh, that will help you to treat the arctic area cases wonderfully uh, doctor you need to go so that is what the lesson i have advised you all of you go to the rubric write rubric meaning of that and understand that how this is applied in our practice so yielding is the psychosis less and the buoyancy is psychosis filtic okay buoyancy is a taralta so there is no attachment also buoyancy is there in the root uh, remedy is uh, fluoric acid so fluoric acid having a attachment then this attachment goes on so fluoric acid is floating from this to this so that is what the fluoric acid is buoyancy fluoric acid is which it surfaces that it is a road side romeo so having a lot of affairs with many things and there is no attachment with pure attachment with anyone so this is what in buoyancy there is no attachment in yielding the person to become yield to the authorities yield to the person because of there is a lack of confidence because of there is a timidity and everything so this is what you have to take into considerations very sensitive to blood injection don't see to give injection others can't see accident can't tolerate quarrel at home if the quarrel then his body is trembling uh, what is the rubric for the frighten frighten easily frightful if the person is being heard some story and he become uh, frightened then you can take this as a horrible story affected profoundly but if the person is seeing something and having the fear that is frightened easily yes there is the sensitivity in this case is horrible story of fact yes. but we cannot take it horrible story of fact we have a four and uh, about 40 44 remedies there okay so horrible story affect her profound story means the sto for the story you have the uh, senses is hearing and by hearing something you imagine something and you go into the state of the fright that is something called as a frighten but whenever the person is seeing something blood seeing injections and that is what the senses is different so vision is horrible so by looking at the vision they have a problem so this is what but the system is affected that means they stimulate the amygdala and produce the uh, component of the fear and the frightens easily so the we have to keep in the mind the disposition is very fearful timid and frightened easily so take the rubric frighten easily as a general rubric so that will help you uh, to nullify the mistake of selecting a small rubric and also you can have a bigger rubric a bigger remedy uh, structure so that you cannot uh, neglect any of the remedy from that so you have to take python easily as the rubric what sir has taken the basic rubric timidity so timidity has more than 150 remedies so you can take a general rubric and from that you can rule in and rule out so hope you all enjoy learning so thank you so much
in DMD case, confirmatory symptoms where facility can be entered through them also. Yes, you can enter through them also. Okay, provided you have to take into consideration the whole aspect so that you can understand everything. Thank you so much. <coughs> If you have any question, you can ask directly in the group. So, and I think uh, I will take a question answer session. So, uh, I, I will make a, what we call as a group link, uh, Google form. So, I will share this Google form in the group and uh, we will have a session on question answer one fine day, most probably on the Sunday. So, we will take it uh, in this month, end of this month. So, that will help you all to uh, solve out your queries and the questions. So I request all of you, I will share the Google link, Google form link. So you put your questions and I will try my best to answer your questions, hopefully. So most probably we will make it in the next or next Sunday. So that will help you all to understand the homeopathy in a better sense. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all.